provide you all for what is likely to be an energy filled talk, nuclear and otherwise. And uh, my name is Balaji Ganesh. I'm the director of the Close Celebrity Core here at the University of Illinois in Chicago. So it's my proud privilege to uh, invite all of you here on behalf of, University, of the University of Illinois in Chicago, as well as GIST, the Global Indian uh, Scientists and Technocrats Forum. And uh, we are very excited about this being the first GIST program here in the United States. Apparently, so were the weather gods. So um, there was a lot of thun thunder and lightning in the morning. Um, I'm sure this is going to be a great opportunity for us to learn so much from a very eminent uh, scientist that we have among uh, us, um, Dr. Anandji Kakurkar. I'm going to ask Dr. Prashant Ji Kodgire to introduce Dr. Kakurkar to all of us. He's, he has this unenviable task because he has to introduce someone who needs no introduction. Um, Dr. Prashant Kodgire um, is a scientist uh, from the University of Chicago. He is one of the 16 selected few all over the United States to receive a fellowship to pursue his research in cancer. Uh, it is the Irving uh, fellowship that he has uh, achieved. So can I ask Dr. Prashant to please Thank you, Dr. Balaji. Uh, good morning, Thank you, Balaji Prashant. Well, friends, first of all, I have to 
thank all of you who have taken efforts to be here on a on a Sunday morning when there is uh, I think we also saw some thunder rains and in spite of all uh, you are simple here so I'm really grateful uh, I have uh, planned this presentation in, in, in two parts first uh, I like let me give uh, or put in my own words about just platform which uh, I think all of us should promote and I'll tell you why. And then as I have been asked, uh, I will uh, spend a larger part of this presentation on this topic, energy issues in India, because I'm going to focus essentially on the electricity. But let's talk about GIST first. Uh, I came across uh, just about uh, one and a half years ago. It's a platform uh, uh, under the aegis of uh, Vidnana Bharti and uh, Vidnana Bharti plus uh, number of education institutions uh, in and around Pune and then later on a number of other Similarly minded people came together to create this forum, GIST forum. The forum had organized a, a meeting, a convention, end of last year, which was focused on water. And former president, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, was there to bless it. And also the, uh, the key people in this uh, uh, meeting focused on water were actually India's most eminent uh, water people. Uh, so, uh, so I think all aspects of water were discussed and that uh, has led to a few ideas for further. Hopefully, uh, just annual meetings or biannual meetings will continue and Show the uh, there will be the next meeting announced pretty soon again sometime uh, towards the end of the year or early early next year a debating topics to be chosen uh, but that's not the main theme of this the main main theme of this is to is to create a platform uh, which would allow uh, the the scientists and technocrats of uh, Indian origin, wherever they are throughout the world, uh, to network among themselves and uh, with, uh, uh, with NGOs, organizations, institutions in India who are engaged in, uh, in the, particularly in the rural development, but by and large development based on science and technology. And the idea is, uh, there is a lot of development programs supported by government, both government of uh, central government as well as the state governments. Uh, and, and of course for, for the larger program, major mega projects, uh, that's the only way perhaps with some participation of people. But I think there are many other activities, developmental activities, uh, which can in fact be piloted as uh, small group efforts people's efforts and there are already some institutions uh, again in different parts of uh, India uh, who have done good work. Now the question is uh, there is uh, this large Indian scientific and techno technocrats community outside India for example particularly in the United States and uh, so uh, can we think of a platform where uh, everybody, whether somebody is in India or somebody is outside India, everybody can uh, kind of navigate and, and find one's own respective partners 
partners in collaboration, partners in deployment of a particular development program, uh, partners who may not be even scientists, who may be <coughs> social workers, social scientists. But then one can do things in in, in different parts of, of the country, depending on uh, the interests of individuals or the groups of individuals. Now, uh, this is an idea which is uh, taking roots and uh, to facilitate that happening, uh, we felt that we should, uh, we should launch a portal which would, uh, would progressively <coughs> build up a database based on people uh, contributing their details <coughs> and, uh, and also uh, kind of all the necessary elements of a portal to facilitate uh, a set such networking and pushing the programs forward. Uh, Mandar Pole, uh, just before I left India, told me that uh, such a portal cut, I was insisting that uh, we must bring this portal into existence as soon as possible. And you can recognize all this is a voluntary effort. People are all busy their respective activities. But I'm glad that they have uh, uh, they have put it together and I'll give you the, the portal address uh, I'm sure Balaji Prashanti may have. Uh, it may take a little while before for this portal to become effective enough. Uh, but it will become effective only by you know getting on to it and participating. But but the basic idea is that there are, there are several developmental aspects related to water, related to solar energy, related to waste management, uh, and so on. And, uh, and one can, I think, uh, bring in uh, uh, the latest in science and technology to bear on these problems and to small, small uh, developmental activities depending on our own capability. That's the, that's the core idea of just. Okay, now I uh, have been asked to speak on energy issues in India and I will, uh, I will, of course this, uh, this presentation is uh, more focused on nuclear energy and that's partly because that's my background. Uh, but then, uh, Towards the end, I want to certainly uh, broad base this in, in some manner, and, uh, and I want to leave in enough time for a discussion because I think we should get into a dialogue, both in terms of the specific topic, energy issues in India, but also uh, more importantly uh, in terms of how to move further on carrying the GIST mission. Now, talking about the electricity scene in India, uh, see, India is a, uh, on one side, uh, it's a large country, uh, has made impact in the world and it's making greater and greater impact in the world. But at the same time, uh, it's, a, it's a country with large population, but to uh, a good fraction of this population yet to see the fruits of development. And so all parameters which in an integrated manner look big, even in global comparison, 